there's always a way. It's just about finding the loophole. Welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be just a little quick guide on traveling right now because we are seeing a lot of the same questions happening in a lot of travel groups, long distance groups, and just wanted to clarify a couple of things and give you guys a bit of a short list of things going through when you're traveling during the holidays, after the holidays, or just in general during COVID. It can get a bit confusing right now just because of all the restrictions and all the tests and things that you need. So we're here to clear all those things up. We've traveled quite a lot during this time since November of 2020 when we met each other in Mexico. Let's start with the basics. What is your home airport slash country? Where are you traveling from? And what is your final destination? If you have a transfer country or somewhere traveling through, also put that into the equation. First of all, where are you going? What kind of requirements do they have as a country on vaccinated slash unvaccinated travelers? What kind of rules do they have regarding tests and so on. Some countries might have a one day limit. That can mean a lot of things. It might be 24 hours. And sometimes it can be a 72 hour limit. And it's all depending on what the current rules are and what kind of test the country requires. We'll go through that a little bit later in the guide. First of all, quarantine. You know, some countries, they're like, welcome in. You don't have to have any quarantine. Sweden, for instance. Or some countries like the UK will ask you to have right now two day quarantine for people who are vaccinated until their test results come back or for unvaccinated 10-day quarantine. You need to account for this when you're traveling. Is your country that you're traveling to a country that you need to quarantine in? What's also important to know is just to have a bit of an idea of what your home country's relationship is to where you're going. If you're traveling from the US, for instance, what kind of relationship does it have to Sweden. Is Sweden on some kind of red list or is there any specific requirements of you coming back from that kind of country? Easiest way of finding info on that is literally putting in your embassy details in that country. So for instance, if you're going to Sweden, just put in US Embassy Stockholm and they will have a full slot, not only of information of you traveling from the US to that country and what's good to know about everything from testing to travel requirements and so on, it will also have a small brief thing about traveling back from Sweden. So tests, a lot of conversations and a lot of questions about tests. There are a variety of different kinds of tests. The most significant one or the one that we use mostly is the PCR test, which is also usually the most expensive one. That one usually has a lifetime up to 72 hours and it's the one where they poke you up in the brain. How many of those have you had since November? Too many to count. What's the difference between a PCR and an antigen test? I'm not a scientist, but what they're telling me is basically that the PCR one has a higher security or they know that it goes to a lab and it takes longer. Someone's gonna shred this, but uh, <laughs> apparently the PCR is safer or it gives a more valid answer if you, yeah, a more accurate reading if you have COVID or not. While the antigen is just a quick one to see if the virus is in your body. That's also why the antigen usually has the 24 hour limit while the PCR can have up to 72. However, this varies from country to country. It also varies what your airline will need from you. Some airlines are all good. They see your vaccination card and they're like, great, come aboard. While some need a PCR test. Ever since this last variant came aboard, a lot of countries, including the US, are now asking even vaccinated travelers to bring a negative test. So just make sure that you know what the country needs that you're traveling to and the airline, because the airline doesn't care if the country you're traveling to has one thing. If they have their own regulations, they have their own regulations. As you can tell, Will is the document guy in this relationship. I just follow his lead most of the time. Okay, but delays in airports and chaos, we've been a part of that since November last year as well. What is important to think about? Always buy a refundable ticket and always read the fine print on the refundable ticket. For instance, Will bought a refundable ticket because we thought we would be going back to the US. However, we're not going back as of right now. So he got a refund for his return ticket back to the US. And how much did they pay you? $120. I can guarantee you that you cannot find a flight for $120 right now from Sweden to the US. The fine print was basically that they would estimate how much my single ticket would have been. 
which is basically they can do whatever they want. So Damn. choose a solid airline, read the fine print, and be at the airport in time. Now in Sweden during Christmas, people were showing up three hours before and missing their flights. Just make sure that you have all your documentation, all the tests that you've done, either offline or on your phone or tablet, or print it out so you can have a smooth sailing through customs and all of the check-in process at the airport. This is the thing, right now everyone is like, you can't travel if you're unvaccinated. Most unvaccinated travelers can still travel like everyone else. It's still the same kind of test requirements. In some countries, the quarantine requirements will be longer for unvaccinated travelers. I am also not all knowledgeable. We're mostly helping people and being a part of the community that is US and a lot of Europe. Just because we speak from experience, we're far more knowledgeable when it comes to Europe and the US. So uh, please, if you know any more countries and any more info, please just drop that below. What is also very important to remember is no matter what lockdown may happen, as a citizen, you will always be allowed into your home country. Vaccinated or unvaccinated, doesn't matter. You are a citizen of this country. A lot of people have contacted us being concerned that they're going to be locked out of their own country, and that is not going to be a thing. Hopefully. I know some countries have been on a non-travel list to, let's say, the US, and people weren't allowed to travel from there. However, the US citizens that were there were able to get assistance or able to be shuttled into a different country and then flown home. So there's always a way, it's just about finding the loophole. If it, there's a will, there's a way. If there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> If you have any more questions, please just drop them below as we would love to help. And hopefully this video has clarified a bit of how to travel easily during this pandemic. We wish you all health and happiness and we hope that you have a happy holiday season. I'm Morgan. I'm Will. See you next week. Why don't you say it? <laughs>